Hello, Warfighters. Before I get to the video, I have the wonderful responsibility to once again say thank you to a generous patron of mine, Proto, for your $50 donation. I have gone ahead and updated uh, many of the goals and also some of the tiers for donating on the Patreon. Of course, for $50 or more, you do get a free War is Hell t-shirt, so that one should be on the way to you soon, Proto. Heck, I don't even have one. But thanks again, Proto, for your continued support. You are awesome, and thanks to everybody else who donates to the Patreon. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the video. Hello, Warfighters. War is hell. Welcome to the next episode of What Could Have Happened Had Operation Unthinkable Been Needed. We're going to go ahead and get to the briefing for this one, but it is going to be slightly different because this episode takes place just a few hours after we saw the previous episode take place. Remember, the Americans are trying to push into the Soviet lines here to try and tip the balance of momentum in their favor as things are starting to not go their way. After the town that we saw them take in the last episode, we see Braseldorf is next on the list for the Americans to assault. However, even though they were able to go ahead and reinforce uh, positions that they had taken and also continue to push forward at night, they're coming up against Braseldorf, which they don't believe that there are too many Soviets inside of the town. And so as they're pushing up some armor, there's going to be a lot of infantry uh, close up behind them as well. The hope is, though, is that in the town of Braseldorf here, uh, we do have a significant presence inside of the town. We hope to be able to stop the Americans right here. Now we'll see a series of Americans uh, moving up via trucks here along some of the different access or uh, different ways into the town. So there's basically three different roads and each particular road has a little surprise for the Americans there. Down the center we see that we're going to have some troops on top of a building. We've also got some AT placed around the town as well and some other vehicles too. So this is going to be a pretty stiff resistance that we've been able to put into place here around the town. Up above though, right in the middle, we do have a sniper and a radio man who's going to observe what's going on and tell all of us down below where the Americans are coming from so we can rebalance uh, our defenses as needed. So to start it off here, they go ahead and call in that uh, in the three different roads that are available for them to come in, the center is where they're going to be pushing through first. Again, the Americans don't think that this is too heavily defended, uh, so a frontal attack is probably the smartest way to go. Luckily though, we're all ready for him. Now, I've got a bazooka here, one of the uh, great things of the Lend-Lease Agreement that the Americans uh, and the Western Allies had with the Soviet Union. Wow, AT's already started to open up here. So the Americans should see that this is not going to be too much of a cakewalk. Though I think they might still try and, and push through here. Because we I think we only, only have one AT gun going right now. It looks like we've got two Shermans coming down this road here and you can see the vehicles just kind of right behind them there wouldn't be surprised if the Americans hop out here in just a little bit and start pushing up to the town on foot all right time to get the bazooka out here we're gonna go for tank number one to try and see if we can slow up everybody behind him and direct hit right on the front Crew's jumping out, which means this should explode here at some point. Switch. Kind of mow him down. There we go. We got an American plane right up above, too. It looks like he might be dropping a bomb or... Ah, uh, dang it. One of the tanks that I had inside of the town just got taken out by him. We'll make this a little bit more difficult. Let's see if we can move up here just a little bit more. From the sounds of it, too, we're also being hit on the left and the right. It seems like the center is kind of where they're pushing most of their troops through right now. Let's kind of get set up here, see if anybody decides to pop out. But these, yep, see, we've got somebody right here. Okay, he's down. We've got some of these vehicles loaded with troops. You can see they are starting to get out now. This is the prime time for me to try and hit them. Okay, got one of the trucks should take out a whole squad if everybody was still in there okay I'm gonna have to push back because I'm way too far ahead of everybody else there's like no support 
for me up here. And I can imagine I'm going to aggro a lot of people having taken out an entire truck. Taking out a tank. But I got to make sure here that this area looks a little bit clear before I push back. Because I've only got a few troops behind me here who are able to provide some cover. I think these trucks might be trying to get out of here. That's something I can prevent too. That'll be good because... I do want to try and slow them up as much as possible. Oh! Splits the two trucks. It's going to hit the road back behind him. Okay. I think I had the right height there. Ooh. Got another truck. Okay, so I've only got one bazooka round left. Time to fall back. Yeah, I'm starting to see that fire over, it's now on my left side, but it would be the right side of the, uh, or our right flank here. I'm kind of opening up. The guys at the top of the building seem to be holding them off. I think we're fine, so let's go ahead and take a look at what's happening here on the right flank. As I mentioned, that tracer fire, everything, it seems like they're even kind of engaging the center here too. So those guys are basically being hit on multiple sides and shouldn't be a problem that much longer. Okay, let's take a look down here. Don't want to just run out in the open. I'm not seeing too much of anything over here, actually. It seems like things are pretty quiet. So I guess if they... Oh, wait. If you could see all the way down there, we've got trucks. I think they're lining up here waiting for some type of attack. That guy got up a little bit too close. Okay, so the guy in the half track shouldn't have too much of a problem taking these guys out here. But I am going to go ahead and go prone, back up a little bit, and see what I could do to kind of take these guys out. Maybe if I can get them to kind of fire in this direction, I might aggro some more of my guys to start opening up on them. I have adjusted to 200 meters, and it seems like that is the right choice, taking out a few of the guys who are on the right. Got one on the right side of the truck and two, I think, on the left. Or maybe one behind. It's hard to be accurate with this here, but with the rate of fire that I have and the amount of ammunition that I could carry with this, that's totally fine. Because I'm going to hit somebody at some point. Ooh. What's he firing at? Oh, I think he's going for those trucks. Okay, so we're getting some more intel now that we're going to be seeing uh, some of the Americans pushing on the left side of the town so i'm gonna try and rush over to the left flank here and see what i can do there so i'm about ready to pass the center again which looks like things are completely under control uh, most of the guys who are up at the top of the building are firing down at the enemy so i don't think that they're going to really be going after me too much as i go ahead and cross the road here we'll let them continue doing the great work that they're doing up there i'm just gonna go ahead and climb up over this wall here to get to that left flank all right, here we go. Okay, there's that tank that got taken out too. All right, let's see exactly what we're up against here. I'm going to try and peek my head around here. Yep, they've moved up some troops here as well. You can see only one truck. I'm wondering if we try to barrel through here to kind of probe to see what we've got here on this left flank. Now, from the looks of it too, we had somebody kind of rushing up here at us. So maybe I might move up here to the sandbag emplacement. Yep. Got somebody right in front of us. He's opening fire. So I'm going to go ahead and get down. I don't know if he was firing at me. But I should be able to take these guys out right here. Remember, I am uh, adjusted for 200 meters. So I am going to have to aim a little bit low on these guys to hit them at center mass. Got some guys that looks like in the trees. They might be trying to to surround us here on this left side and hit us not on this main road here, but the one that goes perpendicular to the three roads in. So that's what I got to be on the lookout for. A lot of guys moving right to left. Okay, so this guy I think is engaging some of those guys in the trees that are a ways off. I don't want to go ahead and, and stop him. That guy's just watching the rear in case they are able to go ahead and get around us. Now, here again, we're going to go with a whole bunch of fire 
on these guys, hoping that at least one of these rounds ends up hitting them. Take one guy down. If I can hold them off in these trees, I think that's going to be best. They're not firing too much at us while they're trying to get into position. So if I can slow them up, we should have fire superiority on them. I'm nervous about staying here, though. Okay, a lot of guys that are off over to, to the right. Looks like they're in the road and starting to move into those trees. Okay, let's find a new position. If I stay in one place, they'll start firing back at me, and one of their shots are going to hit me as well. Got some guys off over to the right in the top of the building, too, that I think are, are slowing some of these guys up. Might have to patch this guy up here. I mean, if I run low on medical supplies, I'll be able to grab some more. But now we're hearing off on this left flank here. Some more armor and some more infantry starting to come in. I should be able to slow them up here a little bit if they do continue to, to push down this way. But what I'm kind of concerned about is off to the right, I've got you know my AT gun. And even though I can hear the tanks and everything starting to come up, it's not firing. I don't know if it just can't spot them or not. Alright. Oh, this guy. He needs some medical attention too. Let's get him patched up. And then... I think I might be able to do some more damage moving off to the right. Oh, that... That gunner's down. That's why... I'm not able to get any medical supplies off of him. Okay, what do we got here? Try and see if I can slow up some more of these guys. And then once we see that armor come up here, I am going to make a beeline right back to that AT gun and probably man the gunner spot. Try and see if I can hit this guy on the move, running perpendicular to me. Kind of short here. There we go. Taking him down. All right. This is a good position for me here. I am taking some fire. I can hear some, some bullets whizzing around me, but honestly, it's it's not too bad here. But again, I'm going to have to move at some point. All right, this guy stopped. Aim a little higher. Got him. Okay, we've got three guys kind of over here. Let's see if I can reposition. Ah, it's going to be tough here because it's, it's basically 45 degrees. Oh, is that the armor? Man, they snuck up on me. Okay, I'm going to get in this gunner position. Oh, that guy's super close. Another guy who's been able to creep up on me. You can see we're heavily outnumbered here. But that's okay. We're, we're doing a great job at actually holding right here. The element of surprise has really worked in our favor. Okay, so there is one Sherman there. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to switch here. And now we're in a position to fire. Perfect. Just wanted to make sure I had the, the best shells here for the task. Okay, that guy's moving. Let's try and hit him. Okay, I think we hit him on the side. question is, where is he? See, I'm wondering if I just detract that one on the left. That's what I was going for. I'm trying to go for stopping their mobility. Because if I can take out their tracks, then the crew's going to jump out. Ooh, this is going to be a tough shot to make here. Let's try it here after I've taken this guy out. Or if the tank on the right ends up moving. Okay, so that's three direct hits. Ooh, now someone's firing at me. Let's, let's pop out here because being in the gunner seat, like, there is no protection. Well, little protection, I guess I should say, from enemy fire. Okay, now I'm not taking any more. Oh, this tank's moving. I think that might have been the second one. Okay, so we're aiming for the tracks, which is why I'm aiming a little bit low. Now, he's firing at me. This is like a duel right here. Come on, one more should do it. Aiming a little bit lower, hit the tracks. The crew is out. Okay, we're going to switch to high energy rounds here. Boom. 
Now this is going to be a lot better for taking out the infantry. So with this, I don't necessarily have a tracer like I do with the, the armor. Like I can't see where it's going. So I'm going to play this one by ear. Okay, so I think I, I have it. Let's take out these vehicles here too. Just to deny them. And if there is anybody else still inside or kind of using them for cover. So we should have this center part basically covered now. Okay, so let's turn our attention a little bit more to the left here. So what I need to be doing is is kind of aiming right at where these guys' waists would be. Um, maybe even a little bit higher than that. Just to try and, and hit him. I think that one went a little bit little too far here there we go uh, that one might have as well okay see down yes okay so I do have it it's basically like at their waist is what I want to aim for so all these guys that are running right to left here are gonna be coming up against these rounds and you can see it is just taking them out I need another one here on this to make that one blow up too. Okay, let's keep looking, see if there's anybody else around here. Fire into those trees. Thought I saw some people using or laying down for cover and everything. Now, if I don't see anybody else here around... I'm going to have to push up a little bit more to the left. Okay, this guy's farther away. I'm going to have to aim a little bit higher. That one was about at his chest. I think that did it. Same thing here. I think that was kind of a little bit higher. It was kind of more his head. Um, Here we go. Did that one get him? I think it did. Yeah, I see somebody kind of laying down where he was. Okay, so I think we have the main assault on the right basically clear those who are trying to circle around on the left are still gonna be uh, guys that we're gonna have to deal with don't know how many of them are left but we'll have to reorient ourselves here a little bit okay now they're starting to get up you can see they snuck up pretty close on us without having to really have something I could settle my weapon on it's hard to keep an accurate shot here with this some machine gun even at like 150 200 meters okay I'll just try and poke my head out here a little bit maybe they focus on somebody else a little higher there we go this guy Dropped him too. These guys out in the open are trying to look for some type of cover, but they're not going to find it. Because even if he gets behind the tree, it's safe from me. Got some other guys around here too that still might be able to hit him. See, like this guy here who's basically firing right on the left of him. We've got somebody here in the corner of the, the fence directly in front of me. So this is good. They're hitting them as they try and move up. There honestly shouldn't be too much of them left. You can hear that the fire has really died down. So it's taking out those those tanks. I'm wondering if they abandoned their push here on the left. And these guys who are here. If we don't take them out, I bet they're going to try and fall back here pretty soon. Alright, we're going to go with the reload here. But... That might have been a diversionary push here. It seems like we have a huge force now coming on the right side. So since we have this left side pretty much taken care of, I'm moving to the right. We quickly see some of the guys here have been able to go all the way around and are on the left. So we've got, what, about four guys right here? Five? Well, there might have been two. I think this is an entire squad here who's been able to make it in. They're close enough range for me here. I'm able to make short work of them. Okay, I do have to get moving. This this attack on the right is apparently huge. So again, time to readjust. Head across the town to the other side. 
I will stay low for this one and be a lot more cautious in case we do have some more people that are coming around on the left. But again, we should have enough people to really be able to take care of it. The guys who are on top of the building to my left can fire in that direction. We have some few people watching that way. And there's still a sufficient amount of guys. Oh, man. They've been able to push up and are basically inside of the town now or right on the edge. All right. Just got to mow them down here. That's the name of the game. I think they've taken out the 30 cal inside of the half track. Or maybe it's 50 cal. I don't know, but the half track is down. I'm not hearing any fire. And they're continuing to push up. So maybe that's where those trucks ended up going to. They linked up with the guys that we were seeing on the right side. So this is going to be a, a pretty massive push. We've got to find a good position. Oh, yep. They are in the town now. Uh, got a spray. That's the only hope I'm going to have for trying to hit that guy. I don't want to get up too close here because... They'll be able to spot me a lot easier. Still hearing us returning fire, though. We do have layers of defense that seem to be working out pretty well here. Okay, now, it looked like that's where some of the guys were coming from. That and directly off to the left here. Oh, yeah, a lot of guys still pushing into the town. Not going to try to hit them in the open. I'm going to try to hit them here. If they're focused more on what's happening directly in front of them, which it looks like might be the case because the building on the other side of the road uh, directly in front of where they're coming from, that is occupied by us. So they may be more concerned about what's going on there. And as they push up, if I can hit them from the side, that'll be good here. See, just like that. Now it looks like they're throwing grenades in that particular area here. There might be some guys pushing up. Uh, that's one of mine. Saw the bazooka and I thought American. Okay, it looks like he might be trying to fall back too. This is great defense here. They're really hitting those guys as they try and push it. And it's kind of turned into a fatal funnel for them. All right, there's somebody behind here. All right, he's down. Thought I saw some movement over here on the left. But I'm keeping my eye on what's happening to the right. I'm kind of darting back and forth here. Yep, we did see some movement. Oh, here comes some more. Gosh, they're starting to get through now. I'm wondering if they've silenced the guys that we have inside of that building. There's still more grenades that are going off, so maybe not. There might still be hope for us to kind of hold this right side. Another guy kind of popping up here at the fence. Able to take him down. Those grenades are just not stopping, which is good for us. Looks like they even tried to get a jeep through. See what I mean here? Like, this is working out pretty well. They're continuing to try and push through. It looks like some of them have gotten through now. Let's try and see if I can reverse that, of course, here. Just going to spray into the road here. I've oh, got guys moving up here on the left. They're starting to break through. I've got to gotta stop this okay those two are down how many more of them are there I am out of ammunition oh, I wasn't even keeping track of that okay the only thing I'm gonna be able to do now here is pull back I'm gonna get up here on the radio tower to see what we can do and I might go go tell them exactly how bad it is just in case they can't see one of the things we could do is call in some rocket artillery to kind of suppress anybody from continuing to move up here. So let's try and get up these stairs here, get to the top of the tower here where we had that sniper and that radio man. We're going to have to call in that artillery. I mean, the more that I think about how many enemy are coming in, this is going to be the only way. Now, this is going to be very, very close to us. Definitely danger close. So we may take some casualties and hit some of our own men as well, but this is the only way we're going to be able to hold the town and stop the Americans as they try and make their push. Okay, here's the last ladder to get us up with the sniper and the radio man. I just hope I'm not hit on the way up here because this is where I'm the most exposed. They see me in this giant bazooka. I'm going to have no chance to defend myself. 
All right, here we are. Now, it looks like they did take some casualties, so if I do need to, I can always take that rifle right here. Yep, we still got some movement on the right side here. So we're calling in that rocket artillery to try and take out these guys. Make sure we can hit them before they hit the town. And again, some of these rockets, not too accurate, may fall inside of the town. So best of luck to everybody who's still here. And they're starting to fall. We've got one that kind of hit close to that, that building right there. Some that are kind of out in the, the distance. So it looks like we're going to be able to push them back here. You can see more are starting to kind of fall to the right here, too. Ooh, that had to have been a good hit. So that's going to be a victory here for the Soviet Union. For the next episode, you guys, we are going to be hitting the intermission, which is going to uh, show how things are going to change up here quite a bit from what you've seen in the last few episodes. So I'm kind of excited to tell you guys what you're going to see. So definitely stay tuned for the next episode. It'll be more informative than anything else. But I appreciate you guys watching. Remember, join our Discord. We have a lot of great conversations. Please be like Proto. Donate to the Patreon and help support this channel. You can see some of the goals and the stuff that I want to do with your help. Uh, it's going to be absolutely uh, helpful uh, with all the support that you guys give me. Also, please subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. There's more of this to come. We've still got half the series ahead of us. And then also like the video if you enjoy what you saw. Thanks again for watching War is Hell. You don't have to worry because Warfighters, I've got your six.